Governor Pritzker is scaling back a state program giving health care access to non-citizens. The program was projected to come in way over budget, so the governor is putting new restrictions in place to lower the cost for the state. Our Capitol Reporter Chief Cole Henke explains. It was an unexpected burden on the upcoming budget, a program launched only a few years ago to give state-sponsored health care to non-citizens was projected to come in way over budget. The Department of Health Care and Family Services projected it to cost the state over $1.1 billion, nearly three times the amount that was originally set aside. During budget negotiations, Pritzker made it clear he wanted the legislature to give him the tools to bring down the costs. Instead, allows us to provide health care for the people who are on the program now and make sure that we're continuing the program going forward, but in a budget-friendly way. And now he has them. DHFS announced that they will pause enrollment for any new enrollees between the ages of 42 and 64. And the state will only allow 16,500 new enrollees over the age of 65 in the next fiscal year. Also, the state is putting several copays in place to help offset the high costs of care. Both the Latino caucus and advocates for this program disagreed strongly with Pritzker's new guidelines. Certainly they come at the expense of thousands of low-income immigrants in the state of Illinois who are going to be vulnerable, who will not be able to access life-saving health care because of this decision from the Pritzker administration. The Latino caucus, who is rarely split from the governor during his five years in office, said in a statement, quote, We were proud to fight to make Illinois the first state in the nation to offer Medicaid-like benefits to these communities. However, this backslide is disappointing. That was Cole Hankey reporting these changes will go into effect on July 1st of this year, which is the start of the new fiscal year. 